What's going on guys? So today we're going to talk about a question that I hate getting but we're going to talk about in this video and that is, is basic training difficult or is basic training hard? I get this question a lot on social media. Uh, it is a very broad question to answer right over text and stuff like that. So here's a video telling you guys or answering the question, is basic training actually hard? <laughs> So when you're at Army basic training, there's gonna be a lot of different possible experiences that you could have there, right? So every single person who goes to basic training, even if you're in the same platoon, even if you're in the same company, you can have a totally different experience than the soldier to your left or your right. The reason being is that there are going to be leadership positions whenever you're at basic training. If you guys did not know, whenever you're at basic training, there should be at least squad leaders and there should be at least platoon leaders or maybe even a assistant platoon leader or a PG, APG. That is what we call them, platoon guide, assistant platoon guide. And then the squad leaders are in charge of their squads. Uh, so they're in charge of, you know, around about 10 to 15 people or so. My platoon, my company, we actually had team leaders as well, which were, you know, there was two team leaders per squad. Uh, I know not every basic training company does that, but these leadership positions are gonna be very key and important to how your experience is going to go when you're at basic training because they make it a lot more stressful. So I've talked about in the past about how you can go to basic training and either fly under the radar or you could actually try to be on the radar, be on the good side of the drill sergeant to actually get noticed. And I've talked about that. And I think in either case, you could actually say that basic training is going to be easy. And in either case, you could say that basic training is going to be difficult. I've also talked about in the past about how basic training, is it more physically or mentally demanding? And that is highly dependent upon how much you actually physically prepare for basic training. So if you physically prepare for basic training, the physical aspects of basic training are not gonna be that hard. If you don't physically prepare for basic training, the mental aspects uh, might act, if you don't physically prepare for basic training, the physical aspects might actually be the harder portion for you at basic training because you won't even be able to worry about the mental stresses that come with basic training because you're not even able to do the basic PT requirements. Uh, you're not even able to do just a couple of push-ups whenever you're getting smoked. And so you're only focused and worried about that because you're sore all the time, you're hurting all the time, your feet are hurting, you're going to sit call because your feet got blisters and blood and all that crap. Uh, so that is going to be you know, a big portion of what your thought process is whenever you're looking back at basic training. Was this actually difficult or is this difficult when I'm going through it? But a lot of people want to know, you know, what is the most difficult thing that you went through at basic training? You know, what was the most difficult event? What was the, most, the hardest, most difficult thing that you could do? Uh, is it really that hard? And the answer is there's really no thing that was actually difficult at basic training. For me, I hate ruck marching. So, you know, the thing that was technically the most physically demanding or the hardest for me was just the ruck marching because I never rucked before. Uh, I probably should have trained rucking before I left for the army, but you know, I just didn't do that. I just did my own running and stuff like that. And for me, that was the hardest part physically. The hardest part for me mentally because I was the platoon leader pretty much the entire time through basic training. The mental stress or the stress of the drill sergeant yelling at me all the time because something was wrong with my platoon. You know, some guy went off to the tree line to go use the, the bathroom or whatever. But you know, things like that will happen and the drill sergeants yell at you whenever you're in the leadership position. So that makes basic training a lot more stressful. And if you go through basic training and you're that person who is not in a leadership position and you never get a leadership position, you can just fly under the radar. You can just, you know, not do anything special. You can have an average PT score. You can do okay whenever you are having to lead some event or something like that. And you can just kind of coast through and that's pretty much the easiest way to make it through basic training. But you're not gonna get some of the benefits that will actually come whenever you are getting stressed out, when you are being put in more stressful situations because that does build you up. Whenever you are put through more difficult things, you are going to come out much stronger and better mentally and physically on the other side. So, is basic training hard? In my opinion, it's not as hard as people actually think. I think a lot of people going into basic training, they have this thought process in their head. They have this thing uh, thinking that basic training is gonna be something that's extremely difficult, right? So like every day is gonna be super hard, really difficult for you to do. And that honestly isn't the case. There are gonna be days, you know, especially in white phase, 
when you're gonna be sitting around the vast majority of the day because when you're in whiteface, you're gonna be shooting at the ranges basically the entire time. So your day is basically going to consist of waking up, doing PT, you're obviously gonna be in the whole basic training environment so you're gonna be rushing around and if you miss the formation time, you're gonna get smoked, you're gonna do push-ups or whatever for a couple of minutes and that's gonna be it for that. Then you're gonna get on the bus and you're gonna to go to you're gonna to go to the range. Then you're gonna to get to the range and you're probably gonna sit around for a couple hours waiting for your turn to shoot. Then you're gonna shoot for five minutes, then you're gonna eat lunch, then you're gonna wait around for your turn to shoot again, then you're gonna shoot for five minutes, and then you're gonna wait for another four hours, then you're gonna have dinner chower, and then you're gonna go home or you're gonna go back to the barracks and you're gonna be basically done for the day. And so all you really did that entire day was shoot for 10 minutes and sit around the rest of the day. The only times you're gonna be getting smoked at that point is if you miss formation times, right? So a lot of times when you're getting smoked at basic training, whenever you're getting uh, corrective training or whatever, at basic training, it's when you know the drill sergeant says to have everybody in formation in this uniform with this equipment at 1300. And if you're not ready by 1300 and you're ready at 1302 or something, and the drill sergeant is there, then he'll just make you, you know, do some push-ups, do some whatever, you know, be in the front leaning rest position while he yells at you for a little bit. But in the grand scheme of things, that's really not that difficult. It to complete to be completely honest with you guys, it's really not that difficult. The vast majority of basic training, you know, the obstacle courses really aren't that hard. Even the confidence course really isn't that difficult. The grenade range. You know, qualifying with your M16 or, or M4, I mean, you're gonna have plenty of practice. You're gonna have the drill sergeants there coaching you one-on-one -on -one if you are having troubles. So nothing is gonna be super hard. Nothing's gonna be super difficult. The red face test that I've talked about that a lot of people are worried about, you're going to get all of that training that you need to know on that red face test to pass it. The blue face test, uh, which is basically your final inspection, you're just gonna be cleaning the whole time. You know, to, you know if you ask yourself, is it really that difficult to clean for like 16 hours a day? It's really not that difficult. Obviously it's gonna suck. You're gonna be tired of cleaning. You're gonna be tired of scrubbing things that just won't seem to get clean. But that's gonna be a portion of basic training. It's not that difficult, but you just gotta do it. So for the nine and a half weeks that you have at basic training, a very small portion of that is actually going to be difficult, right? It's actually gonna be difficult. And in my opinion, a large portion of the things that are gonna be difficult are extremely, extremely highly dependent upon how physically prepared you are when you get to basic training. And I just wanna add here that really, you know, the only way to not pass basic training, and I've talked about this in the past video, is to quit, right? If you get injured or you quit, and I'm talking about injured severely, right? Because if you have a small injury, maybe you sprain your ankle or something, maybe you'll get recycled, maybe you'll just be on profile for a little bit. But if you like legitimately like break your freaking, your femur or something, uh, or you quit and you wanna go home, those are really the only two ways that you're not gonna graduate basic training. Obviously, if you continue to fail the PT test at the end of basic training, you might get recycled, you might be sent somewhere to work on PT for a little bit. Uh, but that is probably not gonna happen to you if number one, you physically prepare beforehand or you actually push yourself when you're at basic training because I promise you guys, no matter what shape, no matter what shape you are in, if you meet the height and weight requirements, that means your body is gonna be physically capable of getting into that shape by the end of basic training to actually pass the final PT test. And yes, if you fail the final PT test, you'll get to retake it one, two, maybe even three times before you have to get recycled or something or have some kind of issue with that, right? But again, it's up to you. If you wanna be a lazy bum and you have an extra hour at the end of the day and you know you're failing your PT test and you don't work on your push-ups and you don't work on your sit-ups and you don't do some kind of cardio, like literally just run in place or literally just do some kind of hit training. So do some mountain climbers, do a whole bunch of things back to back to back to work on your cardio. If you're not doing those things at basic training and you're failing your PT test, then that is going to be your problem whenever you actually can't pass the final PT test. So it's completely up to you guys. It's completely up to you guys if you are going to make basic training something that is difficult or something that is easy but sucks 
but you just got to get through it. You just got to get past this process in your military career, get it over with. The rest of the army is not going to be like basic training. It's not going to be really a lot of parts as stressful as basic training is because you're not going to have people yelling at you constantly like they do at basic training. So that's probably going to be the most difficult thing for people is to get over the constant yelling if you're in a leadership position because if you're not in a leadership position, it's going to be a pretty rare occurrence that you get personally one-on-one -on -one yelled at by a drill sergeant if you don't screw up. Obviously, if you screw up, drill sergeant might come over to you and yell at you one-on-one. -on -one. But honestly, if you don't screw up, if you don't do anything stupid, if you just you know pass your PT test, if you're not in a leadership position, you can basically just skate through basic training and it'll probably be way easier than you ever thought it was gonna be. So those are my thoughts on is basic training actually hard? And if you made it to the end of this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you wanna stick around for some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. If you guys are not following me on social media, Instagram and Snapchat links are right here. Twitter is in the description. I think sometime in the future, I might actually do some stuff on Twitter. So you might wanna follow me on Twitter. That might be a good idea for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys later.